Bushio again. Today I'm going to show you how to check the oil pressure on your vehicle. In order to attach your pressure gauge, you'll need to locate your oil pressure switch or sender. The pressure switch is under that boot, right above the oil filter. Now if you look very carefully, you can see the tip of the sender right there. That's where the connector attaches. So basically just get your socket on that, loosen it up, and get it off. Take note that some pressure switches, like the one on the left, will have a standard hex head, so you can use a deep well socket to remove them. While others will have a head like this, that requires that you use a special oil pressure switch socket. Like this. This one is stepped, so it'll fit two different size switches. So when I drop the switch in, it fits at the second step. Now you can attach your pressure gauge in place of the pressure switch. This particular set has a variety of adapters for different vehicles. It also has a higher pressure gauge for measuring transmission fluid pressure. So we're going to take the proper adapter, thread it in place of the oil pressure switch. And thread the line from your pressure gauge onto the adapter. I wrap the test fitting with a bit of Teflon tape. When I reinstall the pressure switch, I'm going to use liquid thread sealer. That's what I usually use, but for temporary purposes like this, Teflon tape is easier. And when I'm done, I don't make a mess in the storage case with the liquid thread sealers. All right, I have my pressure hose screwed in up there. This vehicle is more difficult to get to than most, but you can see I also put thread tape on the part of my hose that screws into the adapter. Uh, Teflon tape is very important because if you just install it dry, it will leak. You're gonna also have to get up there with a wrench and just snug it up just like you would the oil pressure sender. On this particular vehicle, I needed a stubby 16 millimeter to get the hose on there and a 14 millimeter to screw the adapter onto the block, hand tight, isn't enough. Make sure the hose is routed away from exhaust components. You want to warm your vehicle up before taking your pressure readings. The pressure will always be higher when the engine and oil are cold. The pressure specs will vary from vehicle to vehicle, so check your service manual. Some vehicles may only have one specification at idle, while others, like this Honda, have two. For example, on this 95 Accord, the service manual states you should have at least 10 PSI at idle and a minimum of 50 PSI at 3000 RPM. We have 11 PSI, so the idle oil pressure is good. And at 3000 RPM, we have 51.5 PSI, so oil pressure on this vehicle is good. Now this switch has tapered threads, and whenever you have tapered threads, you need to put thread sealant on there to prevent leaks. I like to use this Permatex high temperature thread sealant. Apply a little bit of it on there. Spread it with your fingers. I very carefully spread it with my fingers. You see it's just filling in the threads. There's no excess. That's all you need. Then just thread the switch back into the block. It's very important to start the switch by hand. Never start it with a socket and ratchet. It's very easy to cross thread it that way. There it is. Now it's tightening up a bit, so I'm just gonna put the socket on there 
snug it up a bit. Again, no need to overdo it, just until it snugs up. You notice I'm only using my thumb on the ratchet. This is a 3 8 inch drive on this pressure switch socket. It's very easy to over tighten if you just grab it and just start pushing on it. That's enough. Be very careful not to over tighten it. You don't want to strip the threads in the block. Then pop the connector back onto the switch. 